I recently answered an email message from a young Christian child, a young lady, who asked the question, does Jesus watch her go poopy? She wrote to me, she said, Dear Pastor, my mama tells me I'd better behave myself on account of Jesus is always watching. She says he sees everything that I'm doing. Does that mean that Jesus is even staring at me every time I pull down my pants to go poopy? Yours in Christ, Sue Ellen. Well, I wrote Sue Ellen back, and I said, Yes, child, your mother's right. Jesus does see all. But unlike a peeping Tom who's only able to catch a glimpse of you on the toilet through the window, the good Lord Jesus is all over your business, sniffing out every nook and cranny of your vile, sinful little body. Praise his holy name. You see, Jesus knows that toilet time is also a dangerous time for young ladies like yourself, filled with horrid temptations of the flesh. After all, along with shower time, it's uh, one of the only occasions when true Christians have a legitimate reason to be briefly touching their filthy sex parts. This is why Jesus carefully monitors every second spent in the bathroom to ensure that you make haste and no fingers go lingering around and get lost in the dirty, stinky parts of your body. So yes, Sue Ellen, Jesus is watching you, sweetheart. But don't worry, there's nothing in your little panties that he hasn't seen before. Indeed, it was Jesus and his daddy who intelligently designed every contour and crevice of your little hoochie and poop chute, which he carefully sculpted in celestial wax before miniaturizing and beaming you inside the incubation chamber you might know better as Mommy. Of course, foolish liberals and depraved sex maniacs maintain that it was God who created us in His image. This means every part of our bodies is godly, including our unmentionables. This is utter nonsense, of course, for just like liquor, drugs, and gambling, and all the books, music, and movies that are actually entertaining, your disgusting parts were created by God to test you, child, which is why... You would do well to always express a requisite degree of intense revulsion at the very sight of your own nakedness. Remember, child, Jesus loves you, which is the reason he's taking time out of his very busy schedule creating tornadoes and earthquakes and giving folks cancer to watch you squat down and do nature's business. If you doubt me, just take our Bible poop quiz online to see how obsessed the Lord is with excrement. So, young lady, Sue Ellen, the next time you're making doo-doo, don't be shy. Be thankful, child. Verily take comfort by gazing heavenward as you push and squeal like a sweet naked sow in the mud. Then at the very moment you hear an audible plop in the water beneath your soft naked rump, you can give the Lord Jesus a little wave hello. God bless you.